It's cold. It's not that bad, but in any case, recap. All right, I guess for this one, um, it's just gonna be a lot of talking. So if you want something visual, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> but um, I did want to just kind of rant about something. So I think it's like July, November, and there's another month where people do like little um, challenges here and there. So like some people like take out bread um, to try to help fix their metabolism or something like that, um, lower their cholesterol, yada, yada, yada. And then some people like, I'm not going to drive a car to force me to ride my bike more. All right, today I wanted to take another little um, moment of hiatus from the things that I've started. And I did kind of want to just um, review a thing, which is lighting. So there's one thing that really sort of was prominent in the October Promptober shenanigans. And that was not just lighting, but like the different methods of lighting. I do believe I made some strides forward in this weird little experiment to see if I am as smart as the people that have successfully done this without as much help. <laughs> Shove it into one computer put the data on there, take it out safely, and then move it over to the other computer and then offload that data, rinse and repeat. It, there's just like you, there's a cog wheel, but it's to know or it's to let the software know if you want to use the metric system or not the metric system and just sort of set stuff. This episode is more for future Tyler because I, sort of on purpose, didn't do a lot today to stir up some kind of a story to throw together and present here, because I want to talk about this cable that sometimes floats in and out of frame, and the weird scenario that surrounded it getting here. It's an early start day. And then we have a little bit of an issue that we need to find some solution for. Because it's not just an isolated case. And see what that looks like here. So if I hit, if I go to the rendered view and I hit spacebar. Um, yeah, that looks, Looks like fire. All right, I'm gonna try to make this one short because it's the first night where it's noticeable that the temperature is making me regret wearing shorts and not switching into longer pants. So let's see, today, um, we have a full moon, so that's pretty. And today is also, let me see, it's the 15th. So inspect, and then they go out the same way they did, right? This one, however, decided to come in, and there was only one other bird before it that did the same thing, and the same result happened, where it comes in, and instead of just kind of looking around and then leaving, it comes in and then decides to explore a little bit, like investigate or something. And originally, this isn't really a big of a problem, but then it became a problem, because suddenly, all matter of history and instinct kind of goes out the window because now instead of just remembering that there's a huge opening over here and a smaller but still an opening over here, um, the only thing that exists is everything above the red line. This is the world now. There is nothing above because there's ceiling and it keeps bumping into that. There's nothing below it. It doesn't matter if you fly lower. There's nothing below there. There's no there's no need to fly lower like this. And so the idea was that either if it got closer to point C right over the doorway, um, 
because now that there was darkness, that's where it wanted to be the most. Um, either the makeshift um, pillowcase net would sort of guide it to and out of the door frame, or it would just act like a bug net and just catch the bird. <laughs> and then we could just release it out manually and physically. And that's the recap. The videos can be seen in their full length and full context over here. Tyler in progress.